just going to be a quick tutorial on the basics of the calculator that we will be using. This is a TI-84 and this is called your home screen. Um, this is where you would do your typical calculations. But let's look at how to put an equation in and then look at its graph and look at its table. If you'll notice over here where my cursor is showing, you'll see as I do keystrokes, it'll put that in there. So you may want to refer back to this if you can't remember how to do something. All right, so the first thing we want to do is go to y equal. That will allow us to put an equation in. And then we let's put in 2x plus 3. So I'll hit 2, and then the variable key is diagonally down from your second key or across from your alpha key. And then we would put plus 3. And if I press Enter, we have our equation put in, and I can go look at different parts of my calculator. If we want to look at just the graph, we would hit graph and that will show us the graph okay now I want to show you how to get to a standard window so I'm going to come over here and clear out our key history and make a window if I want a standard window that comes very quickly by hitting the zoom key and then you'll see here at 6 it says Z standard so you can just hit your sixth key and now it changes you can see that the axes have changed and become more centered and that would be a standard window. If I want to change my window, I can hit the window key, and then all of these values would allow me to tell my smallest x value to the farthest to the left, x max would be farthest to the right on the x axis that I want, and the scale would tell me if I'm going to, the tick mark's going to be 1 or whatever I choose. Y minimum, again, is how far down you want your graph to go and how far up you want to go for Y max. And again, the scale you can choose depending on this, what your numbers are. And we won't do anything with this X res. So a standard window looks like this, negative 10 to 10 every 1, negative 10 to 10 every 1. Let's say that we wanted it to be um, negative 5, so I can come in here and put negative and then the 5 key and then press enter to positive 5. So press 5 and then enter. And I can keep the scale of 1 and enter. And if I, let's say I want this to be negative 10 for the y, so I just press enter. But I want my y max to go to 30. And since it's a little bit bigger between my numbers, I'm going to go every 2 and enter. And now if I go back and look at the graph, I will see that my axes have changed. And now I'm seeing a more detailed look at the graph because I have fewer x's to look at. So my graph looks a little bit bigger. It's not really the same graph, just a different view. All right, let's go back to our standard window. So zoom and then 6, and we're at our standard window. If I want to look at the table, you hit second graph, and that will show you your table. It has x in this column, and the y values, if you plug them into your equation, the resulting y values. For this x, 2 times 0, it would be 0 plus 3. That's why we have 3 in the y. How can we use this? Well, let's say that I wanted to know what y was equal to when x is 10. Well, I can do one of two things. I can arrow down, do the down arrow until I get to 10. And I see that when x is 10, y is equal to 23. Or you could hit the second window. And then you'll notice at this table start, that always is an x value. What x value do you want to start at? So we could just put in the y value that we know. We put in our 10. And then we can just press second graph to look at the table. And there it just pops us right at 10. So let's say that I wanted to go and know when x was 100. Well, I don't want to scroll all the way down to 100, so I'm going to again go to second window, and I'm going to do my table start. I'm going to tell it to go to 100. And then when I press second graph to look at the table, I see that when it's 100, y is 203. Those are the basics on how to enter an equation, look at the graph, and look at the table.